Hi guys, I'm Asif Ali and watching CJ of video. Today we will make this very simple but very look cool looking effect in Unreal Engine 5. And I will make everything from starting how to add glow on the character, how to make these separate layers per particle per emitter. So these all are different emitters and then this motion in the particles. So you will learn everything in this tutorial if you follow this from starting to end. So let's start this tutorial. So let's start this. So I have this character. You can use any character. And if you want to glow on the character, I have already some videos like this one, this recent one, to add a glow on the character. But I'll make a quickly glow on the character also. But now we will working on the side of the around. So forward for that, I'll just right click, make a Niagara, and I'll call it NS Aura. okay so now first emitter is i want just the glow on here a round glow for the feet so for what i'll do i'll just add a minimal emitter and like i'll put you can call it core and let's uh, let's take a spawn rate maybe just three and make this any color you want in this case, I am just taking this yellow orange color. And then this is camera facing. Let me just make it local and drag it into the viewport. So this is camera facing. I want to face it on the ground. So here in the sprite render, in the alignment, custom alignment, in the facing, custom alignment, face, custom facing vector. Then here take the align to mesh orientation. By default, it will align on the axis, but we want the Z axis. So I will just make this big. So these are the settings and you can see now it's facing the Z. And here you can see that. So I'll just offset a little bit and just put it here on the feet. Cool, I like it. Now I want to add a little bit more that is faded. And it has an arrow. Let's just dismiss that. Fix okay cool and the second thing uh the life is too high i'll just make it one and i will add a scale color and just make this fade in fade out so i'll just take a curve and this last preset fade in fade out this one so it will just fade in fade out and i think i'll make it a little more bright maybe five or ten cool second thing i'll duplicate this and just make it little bigger if i make this like 20 50 and make this let me make also the initial size for this so this is like 50 and now this will be more than that maybe 100 and maybe just 0.5 like that so just like making a glow kind of thing you can make you can use single particle also we don't need to use spawn rate of three you can just use single particle also here uh, how to do that you can just remove it and take the burst and the particles okay that never dies so you can increase the light second i want a ring around here so i have already lots of rings but i'll quickly make one another so M ring and on a planar and on unlit and excellent for now. So I have a radial. I'll have this radial. So what I'll do, I'll take another and I will actually invert this one. So basically, if I preview this one, this is how it looks. If I invert this, this is how it will. This one, I will make it little more sharp, if I preview, uh, 50, so it will be very sharp. And now if I multiply both, I will have something like this. You can use now power to control how much you want to like thickness of this ring, like this. And I think I can increase the size of uh, this also, maybe 0.6 or 0.5. Cool. 
So I'll now take the particle color that will directly go to the emissive and this will go with opacity and to control the power I'll take a dynamic parameter just call it thickness okay I'll just save it now I'll just browse this here I'll duplicate this and rename this ring now I will show you how to use one particle so if I just isolate this delete the spawn rate take the burst one go here and make the self then once particle will spawn just once and then in here in the particle state turn this off so it will never die but because it's fading remove this so now it's just one particle okay now i'll use that material here this ring material and with the dynamic parameter on i can increase or decrease this thing and now i will make it really bright maybe 10 now we have this i can make it a little more bigger maybe this much and we can control this even more so you have this maybe even more bigger cool actually this is too much yeah looks fine cool now if you want to add really hot edge you can again duplicate this and now this one let's make it a little more yellowish and make it like 100 and then i'll decrease the width when I'm decreasing the width, it's becoming faded. So let's decide the width. Then you can increase this here. Maybe this much. Okay. So now you will have very hot edge. And then with the second, you can decrease this. So it will be like faded going inside. Cool. So now we will make a race kind of thing. Uh, a single race not a uh, variation so for that we need a slender so what i'll do i'll duplicate this let's call it ray it's a single particle right i delete the sprite render take the mesh and in the mesh let me search in my folder static mesh slender i have lots of slenders but i want capless so if i open this it has caps and open this it is capless okay it doesn't have cap it's like a tube so I'll browse this and here I will pick it okay and then we have to decide the size so uniform increase the size it should fit exactly here 14.5 5 exactly here then because the pivot is here in the center so it should move up so you can use this or you can move pivot from here so you have to check the size which is 12 12 12 that means you have to move the pivot by 6 and not 65 6 so it is exactly there now we will make a material so it is exactly there now let's make a material It will be very simple material it will be just if i preview this mesh inside my material and make this unlit tidy additive and take the texture coordinate and take the cc mask green channel and preview it is like this then to make it really hot from bottom what you can do invert this and so by inverting it it will be black here and white here uh, sorry white here black here then i'll divide it very low value with the low value so it will be like this then to mask it from here we can multiply it back with the green channel so it will not like cut here okay so that's it we just take the particle color here and we will just saturate this and then multiply this with the alpha and just save it I'll browse this and in the effect in the slender override the material 
choose that material here it's really hot because of this it should be just once and it looks cool really cool then you can add also a light if you want like if i take the rectangle light press g and i'll rotate it make this yellow just to like uh, make it like it's linking with the environment okay then you can add some particles that's like moving you can also add motion in all these elements but i'm making it very simple so the next thing what i'll do let's duplicate this first core and here what i'll do i'll reset these settings should be camera facing and then i need like 100 particles or maybe 50 particles for now add velocity is going up like to this much size i'll use random maybe like this then we need a location here before the velocity it should be slender and no height with the radius so now you have to check if these are okay good i'll make the random life 1.2 or maybe 1.5 size maybe 2 and 0.1 very fast these are moving so i'll just randomize the velocity maybe 0.2 and 1 and but i'll decrease it overall then i will add little more curl noise so for the random motion and i will animate also so though these will not go straight now we can increase the life maybe three so these will like go up to here looks cool yeah we can increase life even more this will go around here and i think spawn rate is too high 20 is enough cool so this is very simple thing and if you want to add like glow around the character very quickly like a free nail you can do that so select your character and search here overlay material here then make a material and m overlay you can name it anything i'll just make it quickly additive and late and i'll take a nail i'll make it to make a power just to control Make a parameter, call it power, default value 2, this will go in the opacity, in the color, let's make it parameter, color, default I'll set the yellow to match it with the character, uh, with the effect, and let's save it. Right click, make an instance, and just drag it into the character, I'll open this. Let's make it bright. It's not visible. On the, oh, it's not actually applied. Wrong thing. Uh, this is my character. Yeah, it's applied. And now with the power, we can decrease this if you want. And the color, we can like make it two. So now you can see we can control this cool so this is our effect looks very cool yet very simple i hope you learned everything in this if you are starting out and if you have any query just comment below the video i'll definitely reply so thanks for watching keep learning and bye bye